G'day guys, welcome to Yeah Nah Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today, we're gonna do this. Nothing special, I just thought that uh, we could talk a little bit of shit, put some makeup on, you know, just, it's been a while since I put some makeup on. I'm probably going to totally slaughter this and fuck and fumble with my words all over the place. So do excuse me, <laughs> yeah. Um, for some reason, I am really socially awkward on camera. I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I do digress. Let's get on with this video and hopefully you enjoy it. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Wow, it has been definitely interesting, guys. My uh, son's been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. We've got obviously all this COVID stuff going. But it just feels like every day is a new adventure. And I don't necessarily mean that, you know awesome exciting fantabulous way so anyway i thought today i'd come with you guys and just i don't know put some makeup on and talk a little bit of shit i don't even know what i'm going to do today but i do know what palette i'm going to use and it is an oldie but it's kind of like a little bit new to me i haven't played around with it that much and i'm going to be using the Too faced chocolate bar palette the original well not the original one this it is the original but it's like the um one that they they brought out the hard case. I think the other one was, um, uh, hmm, my brain's not working. I think the other one that they brought out was in a cardboard case or something like that. I'm not sure. But I picked this up a while ago because I missed out on a palette that I wanted to get quite some time ago. Actually, it was from Jeffree Star, and I know that's controversial, but I did want to pick up his um, Alien palette, and I missed out on it. And I've been eyeing this Too Faced palette off for quite some time and I thought to myself, it's been out for a while now and they're pumping out some they're pumping out some products and I thought the last thing I want to do is miss out. So I grabbed myself one of these and I love it guys. I mean not only does it smell delicious, but it's it's just easy to work with and that's what I need sometimes. Like I've got all these other palettes that are colourful and bold and I'm like I open it up and I get inspired. But I really don't know what to do uh, with it. Like, you know, my town is, is it's not city. Uh, it's, it's a little bit on the countryside. So if you put something really bold on, which I will do, but you'll get a lot of people looking at you. And I'm not that kind of like, I don't like to go, look at me. Um, maybe a little bit, but not, I don't like to stand out so much that people are like, she's kind of weird. You know, I don't like that. So um, anyway. I'm rambling on. They did bring out a new palette which I really wanted to get and it was really hard to choose this older one over the new one. Um, but I figured I've got plenty of time to get that and that is the uh, Too Faced Natural Nudes I believe it or the Natural something. I'll put a picture up here for you guys and I do want to get that as well. I heard the formula is fantastic um, and a lot more I guess foiled than something like this but this is fantastic to have in your stash. That's what I'm going to use today. Other than that, um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. So anyway, let's just shut up and get started. So uh, I have not put on my moisturizer yet. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be using a primer today. So I'm going to put on my Clinique uh, Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. That's a mouthful. And this is for um, dry skin sufferers. And I absolutely love this. Uh, it lasts me for a very long time. And it's relatively cheap considering that it's a Clinique product. So, hmm. So I am just going to put this on and if I've got a um, primer there, I'll use it. But I'm out of my favourite primer at the moment. I haven't brought any others. Um, I want to test out some new ones to me. So let me just give that a little once over. So what have you guys been up to anyway? We just purchased a, well, we adopted a two-year-old Foxy. And he's getting along with my three-year-old son fantastically. Uh, and it works really well because we haven't got his blood sugars under control yet. So they're really quite high. And so, you know, just 10 minutes of running around with a new dog. And <laughs> so that's great. And they're bonding. And I absolutely love it. Good dog too. Good dog. Very, very happy. We are going to go straight on with this Clinique Beyond Perfecting uh, Foundation. And this is the shade... Um, 0.5 breeze. Oh, I'll give that a bit of a shake first. Hopefully this is not going to be a long video. I am hopefully going out today to pick up a uh, doggy door. Well, it's kind of, it's a doggy door, but it's for a sliding door. So, um, yeah. 
So we've got a sliding door on our back door, so I don't want to put on too much of this. That's probably too much, but I don't care. I am using my, what is this? Ah, my Alice sponge. I love these things. Um, probably the best sponge that I have, I have to say. I don't like the, um, uh, what are they called? Those orange, of uh, real techniques. I don't like those. Um, for some reason, they make my foundations look aging on me. I don't know. It feels like they suck out all the moisturizer. Uh, <laughs> it feels like they suck out all the moisture out of my foundations and my skin. Uh, anyway, let's just get this on. I've been watching a lot of uh, Teresa is Dead lately, and today she posted a collab with Michelle Wong and, um, is it Wong? Michelle Wong? Michelle Wang? Hmm. Uh, they were doing a favourite products from Shantikai. <sighs> How much I would love to try that powder that she boasts about, but it's just, it's so much, especially in Australian dollars, it's, I could never. I mean, even if it was 50% off, Okay, if it was 50% off, yeah, but I would still be like, oh, I really want to try a product that catfishes, you know, uh, that makes me look younger than I actually am. Because most of the time when I put foundation on, there are areas, especially under my eyes, uh, that make me look, hold on, I might actually put just a little bit more on, that make me look older than I am. But, um, yeah, I, most of the time like to wear it because, oh, I'm not getting much of that. Most of the time I like to wear foundation because I have so many freckles and I know people like freckles, but I've had them all my life and sometimes I just like a, an even base. Um, so I don't, I don't hate them. I just, it's nice sometimes to have a li little bit more of an even base. I don't know whether I want to put any uh, concealer on, to be honest with you. I might put just the smallest bit underneath my eyes, but uh, as I said, sometimes it can make me look a little bit older, so I'm just going to put just the tiniest amount. Just right there. Um, and maybe just on my lip a little bit and my forehead. I'm not going to use much. <laughs> Mind you, it's all over my face now. Alright, I'm just going to. Gently blend that out with my sponge, why not? I think I'd get used to, by now, using a mirror <laughs> and looking at the camera. Sorry guys. Alright, powder. Um, I, ooh, I really don't want to powder too much, so what have I got? I might put a little bit of this Australis Fresh and Flawless uh, just under the eyes. Let me see what brush I'll use. No, I'm going to use this little foundation brush. Just taking a little bit. I just want to gently apply a little bit just to try and avoid those creases. after you put foundation on you can see all the little eyebrow hairs that you missed I swear I'm nearly plucking every single night I can't seem to make a complex sentence at the moment you can tell when you haven't recorded for a long time because you're really awkward like I'm sitting here in front of a camera and I'm trying to get a sentence out and it's uh, 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 uh. <laughs> all right so we got that on the next powder I'm going to put on is this Hourglass Ambient uh, Lighting Powder in Dim Light. So this bad boy right here. I love this stuff. Um, I meant to get Ethereal Light. Unfortunately, I clicked on Dim Light. I don't know why. But whatever. I digress. Let's just... I'm going to probably put this... Oh, I'm going to put it up. I, I usually end up putting it everywhere. I say that I'm not going to use that much of it. And then I usually end up putting it everywhere. I don't know. Um... I don't see a lot of difference when I wear this, but I just feel nicer when I do, so I don't know. I don't know whether that's psychological or whether the product is actually doing anything, but I still do want to get a hold of um, Ethereal Light. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
just to see if there's anything there. This brush is shedding. All right, that will do. Um, what next? Excuse the noise. I've got my tray of goodies in front of me and I'm just so out of touch. It's been a while since I put makeup on. Ah, uh, bronze. All right, I am going to use, I'm gonna use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer uh, because it's probably the best one that I've got at the moment. Um, to my skin tone. Just gonna give it a that little brush hairs all over my face. Alright. admire people like Rob, Beauty Christie and Teresa is dead. They can seem to just do everything all at once, you know. Talk about makeup, talk about life, talk about ghost stories even, and just to be able to do their makeup. And I have all these patches. I mean, I don't know if it's great editing, um, but I just feel like that I'm either talking to you guys or I'm putting on makeup or <laughs> not both of them at the same time. And I don't know, maybe that comes with practice. Um, I have been doing this for a little while now, but I haven't been doing it as frequent as they do. I have to admire their commitment, and I am committed to doing all these videos as well, but I just, I'm not very good at managing my time, unfortunately, and the amount of time that it takes me, or I feel that it takes me to set up, it, it feels, I don't know, like, oh, if it was already there and I could just sit down and turn on and then Bob's your uncle, Fantabulous, you know, uh, fantabulous, fantastic. But it doesn't, it takes me about an hour to set up and then by that time, you know, I've got limited time before I can actually do the video and I'm like, oh, I've got to rush through it. And I don't, that's not how I want to do it. I want to be able to relax and talk to you guys. And I am going to use a Jouer or or whatever you want to call it, blush. It's a duo. Uh, it is the Adore look, the Adore blush duo. And I'm going to use both sides. So, um, uh, what do we got? We've got um, Adore Me and Hold Me. So I'm going to use both of these. Smile. Whoops. Ooh, we're wearing blush today. All right, I will diffuse that. I love this. I actually might bring it over the nose a little bit, to be honest with you. Give that sort of flushed sort of effect. Mm, definitely too much. That's okay. I don't mind. We can diffuse it. That's the beauty about these um, these blushes. You can definitely bring them down. So I'm just going to get a big fluffy brush here with nothing on it and just diffuse this. Yet. Um, what am I doing? What have I got? What have I got to work with? Oh, all right. We don't have much tail, so I am going to fill in my tail with this e.l.f. brow pencil in the shade uh, Natural Brown. I'm not going to do too much work with this because I don't really like uh, that really drawn on effect. I just want to create some dimension, just a little bit, and a little bit of tail. Not that much tail. Jesus. <laughs> Yo. I said I don't use much. Just like a little bit of definition. Grab a little bit of shape because I'm going to use a brow gel in that. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to use is I have Essence Make Me Brow and I have Elizabeth. Mott Queen of the Phil. We're gonna go with the Elizabeth Mott Queen of the Phil. I got this out of a Bella box and um, I don't hate it. So we're gonna use this. Uh, what shade are you? This is medium dark. 
So I'm just going to start with the middle first. And then come to the front. I really don't like the front of my brows too filled in. Just try and make it just a little bit natural. Does anybody else's partner look at you kind of weird when your eyebrows are filled in? Mine does. And again, mine tells me I don't need the makeup. <laughs> He's cute. I know, I'd, I know none of us need the makeup, but it makes me feel good. Oh, bugger. I have a little scar in my eyebrow. It's about right here. It's just this little tiny lump. And unfortunately, like if it will have one of the eyebrow hairs coming out of it, but it protrudes protrudes just that little bit much that if I get just the smallest amount of this on there um, it looks like a blob of brow gel so I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna scrape that off but that's about as much as I'm gonna do with my eyebrows I'm not gonna do anything fancy I'm not great at eyebrows so I just like to get them done I was going to do my eyelashes before I was gonna do my eyeshadow before I did the rest of my makeup but I'm not too worried because I'm going to go with something pretty basic today. Um, I'm not going to prime my eyes. No, normally I do. Should I? Uh, you know what? We are. We are going to prime, but we're going to use this L'Oreal Infallible more than a concealer. Concealer because it's quite white. Um, well, I mean, it's not white, but it's quite bright. So I'm going to use that just to blob though. Just a blob, just to give a little bit of tackiness. It doesn't need it with this um, this palette, in my opinion, but whatever. It'll get rid of some of the pigmentation in my eye. Brighten up just a little bit. All right, so let's get started on the eye makeup. I am going to grab out, ooh, what am I gonna grab out? I'm going to grab out a Spectrum brush. This is the B06 brush um, and I'm gonna go into what am I gonna go into I'm gonna go into um, hmm into the shade this one here which is hot chocolate and I am going to put that just on the outer edge here and then bring it up into my crease I'm not too worried about um, it going on the lower part of my I really just really want to focus it on this outer area and I will diffuse it in a minute all right pretty much just like that just to give the eye just a little bit of definition I might darken it up um, maybe but I don't think so so I'm just gonna go into the other eye now do the same thing stamp it on and then blend it up into the upper crease socket area I mean, I got quitted eyes, so a lot of the time you don't see my eyeshadow until I blink, so... Um, although I don't really want to blow it out too far, it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I'm not that skilled when it comes to makeup application, I just love to do it, so... And they say, the more you do it, the better you get at it, but I'm yet to see that. Uh, I don't know, maybe you can't teach an arm dog new tricks, we'll see. I keep saying that, I'm only 34, but some days, some days I just feel like I can't learn anything new. Just the way it is. I don't mind that. Although I do want it just a little bit darker on the outer corner. So I am going to take a uh, triple fudge up in the corner here and just um, deepen the outer, the outer V, I guess, just a little bit. Stamp it on, bring it down this lash line a bit, bring it up. Yep, that works. A little bit on the other side. All 
All right. So I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to go into, to start off with uh, this shade here, Creme Brulee. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to put that more so in the middle of the lid, but pretty much all over the lid. Right, let's, oh, ooh, she's pretty. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm going to break that closer to the inner corner, just tap it a little bit over that darker shade. That's definitely pretty, I like that. It's not too much either. All right, let's do that on the other side. And I might keep it as basic as that, actually. Hmm, I like that. Getting a little bit of creasing under my arm. I'm just going to grab my sponge and just... Just tap it. I know I've got that powder over it, but sometimes that helps a little bit. Alrighty then. Now I might grab this Morphe M432 brush. And grab what shade am I going to go under there? I think I will grab the hot chocolate again, that first shade that we used, and just stamp it underneath here, just as close to the eyelashes as possible. Give a bit of dimension. I might take a little bit. Actually, I'll do the other side first. I'm going to take a bit of the triple fudge again, and I'm just going to stamp that on the outer corner. Maybe bring it a little bit of the way in, but not too, not too far. Yeah, I might stop about halfway. Editing Tanya here, guys. It looks like I've lost a little bit of footage. Um, where I might have been putting on my lipstick and highlighter, unfortunately. Uh, please excuse the noise, it's the, um, <clears throat> the heater. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit annoying. I hate it when that happens, but it is what it is. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And if you want to know any of the products that I was wearing, um, hopefully I list it down below. But if I don't, feel free to hit me up in the comments and um, I'll let you know. All right, let's get back to the video, guys. <laughs> Alright, so we finally got the eyelashes done. I really, yeah, I've decided, I don't like this. I can't wait until it's gone. I'm going to go back to my Essence um, Lash Princess, the uh, False Lash Effect, which is the green one. Um, I just, I don't like this. It's it's too freaking hard to use. You can't use it on the go. Like, I had this in my handbag. That's definitely, mm -mm. Um, It transfers, it crumbles. Um, I mean, when you do get a good application, it looks beautiful. I can't deny that. It does look beautiful, but it just takes too much work. I'm usually in a rush. This is... Mm, so I'll pass on that. I do love, like I said, the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but even that can transfer. It's not just easy wham bam thank you ma'am like the um, Essence one was. So I'm definitely going to purchase that. I can't wait to use this all up and get rid of it. Um, yeah, I feel, like, I feel like we're missing something. I think I might... I think I might put in some inner corner highlight. We need something. I'm going to use, what am I going to use? I've got, I might use this um, Becca Macron uh, one, which is in the shade uh, Vanilla Quartz. Beautiful. So I find myself just a little brush here. And it's got a little mirror here, a bonus. So I just, yeah, just a little bit in here, just in the tear duct area. Yeah, just to have just that little bit of pop. Brighten up the eyes just a little bit. Make me look awake, because I certainly am not. And um, just to finish it so I don't look like a crusty, dusty mummy, I'm going to spray my face with this Mario Badesco. Hmm, which one do I want? I've got the uh, cucumber and green tea, and I have the... Uh, Aloe, sage, and orange blossom. I'm going to go with the orange blossom today. Now, this isn't going to extend the longevity. Like, it's not, not going to make my makeup last forever. It's just going to bring down that sort of powdery 
crusty mummy sort of look so I'm going to use this quite a bit and then I'm going to um, go over with my Alice sponge just to sort of blend everything in together so here we go quite liberal smells really good probably terrible for your skin but that's right because I got all this other stuff on anyway so <laughs> um, I never leave my makeup on for too long so I'm just going to go over with my our sponge and just sort of blend everything, meld it all together. I really put some highlight on the tip of my nose, didn't I? Yeah, I love that. Hmm. All right. That's pretty much everything that I'm going to do today, guys. I'm not actually going anywhere. Well, I sort of am. I'm going. I'm going to pick up a doggy door. So I'm not really doing anything that strenuous or exciting. I'm picking up a doggy door. So, but all things aside, we are definitely going to be staying safe. So a little bit of social distancing there. We've got our masks, so whatever. We're doing everything the right way. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I really hope to come back and uh, record some more content for you guys soon. I've got so many things that I want to pump out for you guys. Um, there's some exciting things coming up in the future, but... I have to learn to manage my time better. I've got, to, I've got to pull my finger out, stop making excuses, and just find a time to record and just housework be gone, get here and talk to my guys and girls. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed what you saw today, guys. And um, tell me what else you've got new lately. I haven't purchased anything new lately. Um, yeah, I, I keep on looking at everything that's out at the moment. It's just like, eh. And I don't know whether that's because of the COVID and I don't know whether or not that... Um, my brain's just like there are more important things or whether there's just nothing really exciting being brought out because if I don't really have a big desire to go out and get anything there are things that I want don't get me wrong like I got my eye on the Vizia Paris little palette um, the only reason why I haven't pulled the trigger on that is because I feel like it's expensive and I'm not I'm not 100% sure how much of it I would use and I do want to get that Too Faced Naturals palette um, but again, I don't know how much I would use it. Um, yeah, I mean, there are other palettes and there are other things that I want to get. But, um, I mean, this is this is pretty much my stash at the moment. Um, I keep quite a small collection. I mean, it's not my eyeshadow palettes, obviously. But I don't like to keep too many of the same sort of products, you know. So I've got, I've got maximum three um, eyebrow pencils uh, from different brands. I have three different foundations from different brands you know I've got four um, different blushes my lipsticks on the other hand I've got oh, well, I don't have a ton but I've got I've got enough for one person you know I've got about 12 lipsticks so um, palettes I've got probably about eight um, bronzers I've got two I'd like some more bronzers the two that I have um, are okay like the physician's formula I enjoy because it's easy to use and the other one that I have is from the body shop um, and it works but it's very very light uh, I like it because it's cool tone but I'm trying to steer away a little bit from um, from the body shop I do believe that it's run by um, some sort of corporation that's not good I have to do my research on it but yeah it's um, the girls from Beauty News are saying that it's run by something a little bit shady, so I'm not sure yet. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't have a lot, but I enjoy everything and I use everything that I do have. And that's the kind of um, collection that I like to keep. I don't want things sitting there, um, you know, not getting used. I don't want to be throwing out palettes, you know, 12 months time because I haven't touched them once. You know, that's eh. so I enjoy my little collection and um yeah, if you enjoyed what you saw, feel free, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, and um, yeah, if you want to become part of the crew, go ahead, click that subscribe button, but like I say to everyone, if you want to get notified of all my videos, don't forget to hit the bell, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.